Hey, I'll jump in there, Christian. Um, David Newton here. Tell me a little bit about when you're coming back from a, a game like yesterday and you have a short week, what's, what's kind of your process of getting your body ready? I know they said you started that process last night. Kind of walk us through that. Yeah, you know, obviously short week, uh, really important that you get, you know, you get your body back and uh, really just whatever you would do in a full week, you know, you got to condense that into uh, into the short amount of time you have. So um, everything I would do during a normal, you know, Sunday to Sunday, seven day week, um, I just the windows tighter to do that. So, you know, you you have to double up on some days on on treatments and on different, you know, the pool work and the contrast and all that stuff. So um, really, it's all day, every day, just getting right for Thursday. I have a little a few things you have to do specifically, like, you know, when you say double up, what those are? I think just the treatments are longer. You know, if you're going to do an hour long treatment or hour long chiropractic session, whatever you're going to do, you know, it's uh, turns into two hours and, you know, you just it starts earlier um, and you kind of go all the way up till the game. We'll get a Scott Fowler with the next question. Thanks, uh, Christian. Can you tell us a little bit yesterday about uh, leaving briefly with cramps? I, I can't remember you. I don't feel like that's happened to you before. Um, what, what you just sort of describe what happened. Yeah, I, honestly, I just had like some onset cramps. Like I wasn't fully cramping or anything. And we just thought it's best just to cautionary go in there and, and pluck a couple IVs into me just, just in case so we can roll for the fourth quarter. So we did that really quickly. Tried to do it right at the end of the, uh, the third so we can make it back for the fourth. So it's really what we did. Has that ever happened to you in a Panthers game before? Uh, y yeah, you guys don't know about it, but yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. We'll go to Will with the next one and then Darren Gant. Uh, just kind of piggybacking off that, Christian, you know, how, how common is that early in the season with the Heat? Or is that something that was kind of novel to you? Or, or do you attribute that just to you know, having not played back-to-back -back weeks in a long time. Yeah, I mean, I don't know the answer. I don't, I don't know the reasons. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that you just got to try to prevent every week. So I just got to do a better job of uh, taking care of it during the week. And, and what adjustments, if any, do you think you guys will make after the way the run game looked this past weekend? I know that uh, running the ball was a bit of a slog this weekend. <laughs> yeah, you know, you always got to make adjustments, good or bad. So, you know, we'll get back to the drawing board and – you got to play better team football, that's all. Christian, when you were running down the things you do to try to get yourself ready, you mentioned contrast. What are contrasts? Uh, I just mean like hot, the hot tub and the cold tub and um, all that stuff. Are there any other things that are novel or different that you do, you know, when you're trying to jam that recovery time into a short week? Um, no, I wouldn't say there's anything different. It's just, uh, like I said, everything's multiplied. Go to JB with the next one, followed by Jonathan Alexander. Hey, Christian, JB here from Spectrum News One. Appreciate you taking out the time. I got a two-part question for you. Um, the first part is that, you know, you guys haven't had a 2-0 start to the season in a while. You haven't had those type of winning vibes this early in the season in that locker room for a few years. Can, can, can you just describe from your end what the energy is like right now? I mean, I know it's still early in the season, but, you know, having two wins under your belt going into week three has got to feel a whole lot better than the latter, right? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, no, you're exactly right. I think the, the energy is great in the locker room, um, but I think we also have a very mature team. You know, I know we're young, but we're very mature, and I think you can see it in guys' faces and, and just in their attitudes and the way they approach each day that, um, you know, we're, we're definitely not comfortable. And, and I think that's that's a big key, you know, uh, just because you're you're two and oh, doesn't mean that uh, you're you know, you're, you still got 15 more games left. So it's uh, it's just important for us to take it one at a time, one day at a time and, um, you know, continue to get better. That's that's really what it's all about. You know, the, the wins, the wins will come. You know, we know what we we can do, but it's just it takes a lot to to get to where we want to be. And um, you know, we're definitely not where we want to be at. So uh, that's the exciting part. And obviously it's exciting to know that being 2-0, um, 
but but I just I like our attitude. I think it's important we maintain that attitude of, you know, not getting comfortable, not getting complacent, and continuing just to put one foot in front of the other. Yes, I thank you so much for that. And I got a, the second part of my question, Sam Darnold, the, the headline surrounding him being the new quarterback of this team. Um, how, how are you guys flowing, you know, with his direction right now, mainly his leadership uh, off the field? Uh, he's been he's been great. Uh, he's been the same guy since he's came here. Obviously, you can see what he can do on the field, uh, but it's just nice having a leader in the in the huddle who can who can step up, uh, make big plays when you need them. Um, you know, he's accountable, reliable, and he's a guy that, you know, demands greatness from all of us. And so we're lucky to have him as our quarterback. I appreciate you. Hey, Christian, um, Jonathan Alexander, Shaw Observer. You, you may have, you may have answered this perhaps with your last question, but I was just curious, like what it, what this team had that perhaps last year's team, you know, didn't have, um, that allows you all to be successful right now. Yeah, you know, I never like comparing. Um, I can, I'll just speak for this team, but this team, you know, I think we're very resilient. Um, and, and I think I, we have a, you know, as I kind of told JB, uh, although we're young, I like our maturity. And, and you know, I like our attitude in practice, our attitude in the meetings, and our constant strive just, just to get better. That's what it's all about, you know. Um, obviously, you want to win all the games, but it's also important that you work on getting better, whether you win or you lose. So when we go in and, and, and win a game, it's important that we approach it the same as if we lost the game. And we're highly critical of ourselves and hard on ourselves and, and don't get complacent. And I, I like that that's what this team has. All right, we got time for a few more. Let's go to Brett Jensen, followed by Wilf Logic. Thanks, Christian. Uh, I'm curious, I know the standard answer is a lot of times that players don't care you know when they play although you know like when their bye comes or whatever although some coaches will say they prefer the bye in the middle of the season as opposed to the end or in the very beginning and it's not a secret that players generally don't like the quick turnaround from a Sunday to a Thursday but in a weird way is it almost better that you're getting it out of the way in week three because everyone's pretty much healthy as opposed to maybe week nine or week ten where everyone's got a lot of nicks and dings yeah, you know, that's that's one way to put it. I think it just all depends. You know, there's there's definitely the negatives of a quick turnaround. You have to fit a full week's install and full week of meetings in a short amount of time. Um, but at the same time, you know, on the back end, you get more days off for the next game. So it has its perks as well. And but at the end of the day, it, it is what it is. You know, we, we got to just roll with the punches and, and whatever whatever the week um, asks of us, we just got to dominate the week and going ready to play ball on Thursday. Christian, do, does the reward of the mini buy outweigh, you know, the grueling nature that is the, the short week turnaround just based off your experience? I think it all depends. You know, I, it, to me, it doesn't matter. You know, it is what, like I said, it is what it is. You just got to focus on uh, the same stuff you always focus on, taking care of your body, taking care of your mind, and then um, getting in the installs and making sure you master the game plan so that you can go play fast.